Commander Eva Reynolds adjusted her uniform nervously, feeling the weight of the momentous occasion upon her shoulders. As the first human to address the Galactic Council, she knew that the words she spoke would shape the future of her species among the stars. The holographic display projected an image of Earth, a lush planet teeming with life. Eva took a deep breath, steeling herself for what she was about to reveal. Ladies and gentlemen of the Galactic Council, she began, her voice steady despite the nerves coursing through her veins. I come before you today to share a discovery that may shock and astonish you all. Earth, our home, contains a substance that is vital to our existence, oxygen. A collective gasp rippled through the assembly hall, and murmurs broke out among the alien delegates. Oxygen was a rare element in the galaxy, often found in trace amounts on planets, but never in the abundant quantities that Earth possessed. Impossible! exclaimed Ambassador Zorax of the Zentari Empire, his reptilian scales glittering in the ambient light. How could a backwater planet like Earth have such a precious resource? This must be a trick, Eva held up her hand, silencing the growing clamor in the hall. I assure you, esteemed delegates, this is no joke. Oxygen is abundant on our planet, allowing us humans to breathe and thrive in its atmosphere. We have harnessed its power for centuries, shaping our civilization in ways that would be unimaginable to many of you. The council chamber fell silent, the delegates exchanging wary glances with one another. The discovery of a planet rich in oxygen was a game-changer in the galactic community, potentially altering the balance of power among the various civilizations. Grand Chancellor Vexa, a wise and ancient being from the planet Argoria, rose from her seat at the center of the dais. Her voice resonated with authority as she addressed the assembly. Humanity's revelation is both astounding and profound, she declared. We must carefully consider the implications of this discovery and determine how best to integrate Earth into the Galactic Council. The power of oxygen is not to be underestimated, and we must approach this matter with caution and respect. Eva felt a surge of pride at her species' newfound place in the galactic hierarchy. Earth, once considered a mere speck in the vastness of space, now held the key to a resource coveted by all. As the murmurs of the council continued to swirl around her, Eva knew that the future of humanity was bound to the stars, its destiny intertwined with the cosmic tapestry that lay beyond, and with the power of oxygen at their fingertips, there was no limit to what they could achieve. The Galactic Council had been shocked by the revelation of Earth's abundance of oxygen, but little did they know that this was just the beginning of humanity's journey to greatness among the stars. Unknown to all, a new era of exploration and discovery was about to dawn, with the humans at the forefront of a revolution that would change the galaxy forever. And as Commander Eva Reynolds stood tall before the Galactic Council, she knew that the stars were calling her people home. This was humanity's time to shine. This was their moment of triumph in the face of the unknown. Months had passed since Commander Eva Reynolds had made her groundbreaking revelation to the Galactic Council, Earth had been admitted as a member of the prestigious assembly, its position solidified by the undeniable power of oxygen. Humanity's newfound status among the stars brought both opportunities and challenges as other civilizations sought to form alliances or establish trade agreements with the enigmatic species from the Blue Planet. One such opportunity presented itself on the distant mining colony of Dolores 9, a desolate world known for its rich reserves of a rare crystal called Stellarium. The Delorians, a race of metallic beings with a penchant for mining, had long held dominion over the planet, extracting Stellarium for their own technological advancements. Eva and a team of human diplomats landed on Dilorus 9, their mission clear, to negotiate a partnership with the Dilorians for the extraction and trade of Stellarium. As they entered the bustling mining colony, Eva couldn't shake the sense of unease that settled in her gut. Dolores 9 was a harsh and unforgiving world, its atmosphere toxic to humans but ideal for the metallic physiology of the Dilorians. The Delorean overseer, a towering figure clad in gleaming armor, greeted Eva and her team with a curt nod. His glowing eyes flickered with suspicion as he led them through the labyrinthine tunnels of the mining complex, the air heavy with the acrid scent of Stellarium. Commander Reynolds, we are honored by your presence here, the overseer intoned, his metallic voice reverberating off the walls. But know that Dilorus 9's resources are not easily relinquished. Our partnership will come at a price. 
Eva maintained a composed facade, her years of diplomatic training kicking in. We understand the value of Stellarium, Overseer. We seek a mutually beneficial arrangement that will benefit both our peoples. Earth's technological advancements could greatly enhance the efficiency of your mining operations. The Overseer's eyes narrowed, a metallic hand flexing around the hilt of his fusion blade. Do not mistake our generosity for weakness, Commander. Dolores Nine's resources are ours to control, and we will not be swayed by empty promises. As the negotiations continued, tensions simmered between the human delegation and the Dilorians. The allure of Stellarium's potential for Earth's technological advancements clashed with the Dilorians' possessive nature over their resources, creating a delicate balance on the brink of collapse. Just as the negotiations seemed to reach an impasse, a deafening alarm blared through the mining complex, sending tremors through the ground. The overseer's eyes widened in alarm as a cascade of explosions rippled through the tunnels, throwing dust and debris into the air. We're under attack, the overseer shouted, his metallic voice tinged with panic. The crystal raiders have breached our defenses. Eva and her team sprang into action, their training taking over as they followed the overseer through the chaos of the mining complex. The crystal raiders, a notorious band of space pirates had targeted Dolores 9 for its valuable stellarium, launching a brazen assault in a bid to seize control of the planet's reserves. As blaster fire echoed through the tunnels and the stench of smoke hung thick in the air, Eva knew that the fragile alliance between humans and Dilorians would be tested in the crucible of battle. The fate of Dilores 9 hung in the balance, its future uncertain as the forces of greed and desperation clashed in the shadows of the mining colony. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, Commander Eva Reynolds stood resolute, her gaze fixed on the horizon, where the dusk of Dilorus IX painted the sky in hues of crimson and despair. In that moment, she knew that the true test of humanity's resolve lay not in the stars above, but in the crucible of conflict that awaited them on the desolate world of Dilorus IX. As blast of fire echoed through the tunnels, and the stench of smoke hung thick in the air, Eva knew that the fragile alliance between humans and Dilorians would be tested in the crucible of battle. The fate of Dilus Nine hung in the balance, its future uncertain as the forces of greed and desperation clashed in the shadows of the mining colony. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, Commander Eva Reynolds stood resolute, her gaze fixed on the horizon, where the dusk of Dolores Nine painted the sky in hues of crimson and despair. In that moment, she knew that the true test of humanity's resolve lay not in the stars above, but in the crucible of conflict that awaited them on the desolate world of Dilorus IX took to be continued. The battle for Dilorus IX raged on, with blaster fire lighting up the tunnels and explosions reverberating through the mining complex. Commander Eva Reynolds and her team fought alongside the Dilorians, their combined forces pushing back the relentless onslaught of the Crystal Raiders. The air crackled with energy as the combatants clashed, each seeking to gain the upper hand in the chaotic melee. Amidst the chaos, Eva found herself back to back with the Dilorian Overseer, their weapons blazing as they fought off wave after wave of pirate attackers. The Overseer's metallic form moved with precision and grace, his fusion blade slicing through the enemy ranks with lethal efficiency. Eva marveled at his combat skills, a newfound respect blossoming within her for the formidable race of the Dilorians. We must hold the line, Commander. The overseer bellowed over the din of battle. The fate of Dolores IX hangs in the balance. Together, we can drive back these interlopers and secure our future. Eva nodded grimly, a steely resolve settling over her as she fought alongside her unlikely allies. The once tenuous partnership between humans and Dilorians had evolved into a bond forged in the crucible of conflict, their shared struggle uniting them in a common cause. As the battle reached its climax, Eva and the Overseer led a daring counterattack, turning the tide against the Crystal Raiders with ferocious determination. The pirate forces faltered under the combined might of humans and Dilorians, their ranks splintering as they retreated in disarray. When the dust settled and the echoes of combat faded, Eva surveyed the aftermath of the battle. The mining complex lay in ruins, but Dolores Nine had been saved from the clutches of the Raiders. The alliance between humans and Dilorians had been tested in the fires of war and emerged stronger than ever. The overseer approached Eva, his glowing eyes reflecting a mixture of admiration and gratitude.
Eva clasped the overseer's metallic hand in a gesture of solidarity, and I, in turn, have come to understand the honor and valor of the Dilorians. Together, we have forged a bond that transcends our differences. Dilorus 9 may be scarred, but its spirit remains unbroken. As the news of the successful defense of Dolores 9 spread across the galaxy, the Galactic Council took notice of the newfound alliance between humans and Dilorians. Grand Chancellor Vexa commended Eva and the Overseer for their bravery and cooperation in the face of adversity, recognizing the potential for unity and collaboration among the diverse civilizations of the galaxy. Humanity's victory on Dolores 9 marked a turning point in their journey among the stars. The alliance with the Dilorians had opened doors to new opportunities and challenges, solidifying Earth's place in the galactic community. As Eva looked up at the starlit sky above Dolores 9, she felt a sense of hope and possibility wash over her. The forge of unity had been lit, its flames burning brightly as humanity, and their newfound allies stood together, ready to face whatever trials lay ahead in the uncharted depths of space. And in that moment, Commander Eva Reynolds knew that the stars held endless possibilities for those brave enough to reach for them. The adventure of humanity among the stars had only just begun. In the aftermath of the battle on Dolores 9, a fragile peace settled over the mining colony as humans and Dilorians worked together to rebuild and fortify their defenses. The Stellarium mines resumed their operations, fueling Earth's technological advancements and cementing the alliance between the two races. But beneath the surface of unity, shadows of betrayal lurked, threatening to shatter the hard-won harmony. Whispers of discontent echoed through the tunnels of the mining complex, carried on unseen currents of treachery. Rumors spread of a clandestine alliance between a faction of Dilorians and an unknown adversary, their intentions veiled in secrecy and deception. Eva sensed the growing unease among the human delegation and the loyal Dilorians, a tension that strained the fragile peace that had been forged in the fires of battle. One fateful night, as Eva patrolled the perimeter of the mining complex, she caught a glint of movement in the shadows. Instinct kicking in, she stealthily pursued the elusive figure, her heart pounding in her chest. As she closed in on the source of the disturbance, a figure emerged from the darkness. A Dalorian, his metallic form cloaked in shadows. Who goes there? Eva demanded, her blaster trained on the mysterious figure. Reveal yourself. The Dilorian hesitated for a moment, before stepping into the dim light, his eyes betraying a mixture of defiance and regret. Commander Reynolds, I mean you no harm, he spoke, his voice tinged with an unfamiliar edge. I come to warn you of a grave danger that threatens the alliance between our peoples. Eva lowered her weapon, her brow furrowed in suspicion. Explain yourself. What danger do you speak of? The Dilorian's gaze flickered toward the distant horizon, his words weighed down by a burden of guilt. There are those among my kind who seek to undermine the alliance with humanity. They have made contact with a faction of rogue mercenaries known as the Shadow Syndicate, offering them access to Dilorus 9's resources in exchange for power and riches. Eva's blood ran cold at the revelation, the implications of betrayal searing through her like a blade. The fragile peace that had been forged in battle now stood on the brink of collapse, threatened by forces unseen and malevolent. We must act swiftly, Eva declared, her resolve hardening. We cannot allow this treachery to go unpunished. We must uncover the truth behind this conspiracy and root out those responsible before it's too late. With the Dalorian at her side, Eva embarked on a daring mission to expose the shadowy dealings that threatened to tear apart the fragile alliance between humans and Dilorians. As they delved deeper into the clandestine network of betrayal and deceit, they uncovered a web of corruption that reached far beyond the borders of Dolores 9, threatening to plunge the entire galaxy into chaos. Amidst the shadows of betrayal, Eva and her allies stood resolute, their determination unwavering in the face of darkness. The fate of Dolores 9 and the future of their alliance hung in the balance, with the true test of their unity yet to come. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the conspiracy, Eva knew that the shadows of betrayal ran deep, but the light of truth would always prevail in the end, to be continued. Eva and her Dilorian ally delved deeper into the heart of the conspiracy that threatened to unravel the fragile alliance between humans and Dilorians on Dolores 9. 
As they navigated the labyrinthine tunnels of the mining complex, they encountered layers of deception and treachery that tested their resolve and strained their trust in one another. Their investigation led them to a clandestine meeting between a group of rogue DeLoreans and shadowy figures cloaked in anonymity. The air crackled with tension as Eva and her companion listened in on the whispered conversations, piecing together the true extent of the betrayal that had taken root on Dilorus 9. We must strike swiftly before the humans uncover our plans, hissed. One of the rogue DeLoreans, his voice laced with malice. The Shadow Syndicate stands ready to assist us in seizing control of the Stellarium Mines. The power and wealth it will bring us is worth any price. Eva's heart sank at the revelation, the gravity of the betrayal weighing heavy on her shoulders. The alliance that had been forged in the crucible of conflict was now threatened by betrayal from within, casting a shadow of doubt over the future of Dilorus Nine and its inhabitants. As the rogue DeLoreans and their shadowy associates departed, Eva and her companion emerged from the shadows, their resolve steeled by the gravity of the situation. They knew that they must act swiftly to expose the conspiracy and prevent the imminent threat to the alliance between humans and Dilorians. Gathering their loyal allies among the human delegation and the remaining faithful Dilorians, Eva formulated a plan to confront the traitors and their shadowy accomplices. Under the cover of darkness, they launched a daring raid on the rogue faction's stronghold. Determined to root out the source of the deception and restore peace to Dialorus 9. The mining complex erupted into chaos as blaster fire and energy beams lit. Up the tunnels, the clash of steel and metal echoing through the labyrinthine corridors. Eva fought with a fierce determination, her blaster blazing as she faced off against the traitorous Dialorians and the mercenaries of the Shadow Syndicate. In the heart of the conflict, Eva confronted the leader of the rogue faction his metallic form twisted with corruption and greed. Your treachery ends here, she declared, her voice ringing with authority. The alliance between humans and Dilorians will not be undone by your deceit. The rogue Dilorian sneered, his fusion blade humming with lethal intent. You cannot stop the tide of history, Commander Reynolds. Dilorus Nine's resources belong to those strong enough to take them. The Shadow Syndicate will ensure our victory. In a fierce and brutal battle, Eva and her allies fought with valor and determination, pushing back against the tide of betrayal and deception. The clang of metal on metal, the crackle of energy beams, and the cries of combat resounded through the tunnels as the fate of Dolores Nine hung in the balance. Amidst the chaos, Eva's determination remained unyielding, her resolve unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. With every strike and every shot fired, she fought for the unity and peace that had been threatened by shadows of deceit. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded, Eva stood amidst the wreckage of the rogue faction's stronghold, her gaze fixed on the horizon where the first light of dawn began to break through the darkness. The threat of betrayal had been vanquished, but the scars of conflict remained as a reminder of the trials they had endured. With the traitors defeated and the shadowy conspiracy exposed, Eva knew that the alliance between humans and Dilorians on Dilorus 9 had been tested and tempered by the crucible of deception. The bond that had been forged in battle had emerged stronger, fortified by the shared struggle against treachery and deceit. As the inhabitants of Dolores IX began the arduous task of rebuilding and healing in the wake of the conflict, Eva stood as a beacon of hope and unity, her unwavering resolve a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. The shadows of betrayal had been cast aside, revealing the enduring light of trust and cooperation that would guide humanity and the Dilorians toward a future of unity and prosperity among the stars. As the first rays of dawn bathed Dolores Nine in a golden light, Eva knew that a new chapter was beginning, one defined not by deceit and treachery, but by the unbreakable bond of friendship and resilience forged in the crucible of conflict. And with that knowledge, she looked to the horizon with hope and determination, ready to face whatever challenges the vast expanse of space held in store for them, the journey of humanity and the Dilorians on Dilorians. In the wake of the confrontation with the rogue faction and the Shadow Syndicate on Dilorus 9, a newfound sense of unity and camaraderie blossomed among the humans and Dilorians. The shadow of betrayal that had cast its pall over the mining colony was lifted, replaced by a renewed spirit of cooperation and trust that bound the two races together in solidarity.
Eva and the Dilorian overseer stood side by side, surveying the reconstruction efforts as the scars of conflict slowly healed. The mining complex echoed with the sounds of hammers pounding and machinery humming, a symphony of resilience and determination that heralded a new chapter for Dolores IX. The alliance between our peoples has been tested, but it has emerged stronger. For it, Eva remarked, her gaze fixed on the horizon where the first rays of dawn illuminated the scarred landscape. Together, we have shown that unity and trust can overcome even the darkest shadows of betrayal. The overseer nodded in agreement, his metallic form gleaming in the morning light. Indeed, Commander Reynolds, the trials we faced have forged a bond between humans and Dilorians that is unbreakable. Dilorus IX stands as a testament to our shared resilience and determination in the face of adversity. As the days turned into weeks, the alliance between humans and Dilorians flourished, strengthening the ties that bound them together. Collaborative efforts in mining operations, technological advancements, and cultural exchanges enriched both races, fostering mutual understanding and respect that transcended their differences. Grand Chancellor Vexa of the Galactic Council took note of the rejuvenated alliance on Dolores IX, commending Eva and the Overseer for their leadership and courage in the face of betrayal. The unity between humans and Dilorians served as a beacon of hope and inspiration for other civilizations across the galaxy, demonstrating the transformative power of cooperation and collaboration in the pursuit of peace and prosperity. One fateful day, as Eva and the Overseer stood atop a cliff overlooking the mining complex, a vibrant tapestry of colors painted the sky as the sun set in a blaze of glory. The gentle breeze carried the promise of a bright future, heralding a new era of cooperation and harmony for Dolores IX and its inhabitants. We have faced darkness and emerged into the light, stronger and more united than ever before, Eva said, her voice resonating with conviction. The bond between humans and Dilorians is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the honor of the Dilorian people. The overseer extended a metallic hand towards Eva, a gesture of solidarity and friendship. Together, we have overcome the shadows of betrayal and forged a path towards a future filled with promise and possibility. The alliance between our peoples shall endure as a beacon of hope in the vast expanse of the galaxy. As they clasped hands in a symbol of unity, the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the mining colony of Dilorus IX. In that moment, Eva knew that the rebirth of their alliance marked the beginning of a new chapter, one defined by resilience, trust, and the enduring power of cooperation among the stars. And as the stars twinkled overhead, a chorus of hope and determination echoed through the mining complex, a testament to the unbreakable bond between humanity and the Dilorians on the desolate world of Dilorus IX. The journey of rebirth and alliance had only just begun, its potential as vast and endless as the expanse of the cosmos that lay before them. With that shared vision in their hearts, Eva and the Overseer looked towards the future, ready to face whatever challenges and adventures awaited them in the uncharted depths of space. Months had passed since the rebirth of the alliance between humans and Dolorians on Dilorus IX, and the harmony that had been forged in the crucible of conflict continued to flourish. The mining colony bustled with activity as the two races worked side by side, their collaboration yielding prosperity and progress that reverberated throughout the galaxy. Eva stood at the forefront of this newfound era, her role as a bridge between humanity and the Dilorians solidifying her position as a beacon of unity and cooperation. The Galactic Council took notice of the success on Dolores IX, lauding the Alliance as a model of interspecies collaboration and mutual respect in a galaxy rife with conflicts and rivalries. On a warm summer evening, Eva found herself in the communication chamber of the mining complex, a holographic display of the galaxy shimmering before her. A message from Grand Chancellor Vexa blinked on the interface, a summons that spoke of challenges and opportunities beyond the borders of Dolores IX. Commander Reynolds, your efforts on Dolores IX have not gone unnoticed. Vexa's voice resonated through the chamber. The Galactic Council recognizes the potential of your alliance with the Dilorians and the positive impact it has had on the galaxy. We have a new mission for you, one that will test the bonds you have forged and shape the future of our collective civilizations. Eva's heart quickened with anticipation, 
her resolve crystallizing as she regarded the holographic map that displayed the coordinates of their next destination, a distant sector of the galaxy where mysteries awaited and challenges loomed. With the overseer by her side, Eva prepared for the journey ahead, knowing that the echoes of the galactic tapestry held secrets and revelations yet to be uncovered. Their alliance, born of conflict and tempered by unity, stood as a testament to the resilience and potential of interspecies cooperation in a galaxy teeming with diversity and strife. As they embarked on their interstellar journey, Eva felt a sense of purpose and determination welling within her, the stars beckoning with promises of adventure and discovery. The path ahead was unknown and fraught with uncertainty, but she faced it with courage and optimism, knowing that the alliance between humans and Dilorians would guide them through the challenges that lay ahead. The echoes of the galactic tapestry reverberated through the cosmos, carrying the hopes and dreams of a universe filled with diverse civilizations and boundless potential. And as Eva looked to the stars, she knew that their journey was far from over, that the tapestry of their alliance was but one thread in the intricate fabric of the galaxy. With the overseer at her side and the support of their allies on Dolores Nine, Eva set course for the unknown, ready to face whatever wonders and tribulations awaited them in the uncharted expanse of space. And as their ship soared through the cosmic expanse, the echoes of the galactic tapestry whispered of adventures yet to come, of challenges to overcome and alliances to forge, a symphony of hope and possibility that resonated throughout the vastness of the universe. Their journey continued, guided by the enduring light of unity and cooperation that had brought them together, an alliance that transcended boundaries and united them in a shared destiny among the stars. And as they ventured onwards into the depths of space, the echoes of the galactic tapestry sang of endless possibilities and the boundless potential of a universe waiting to be explored. The void of space stretched out before Eva and the Dilorian Overseer as their ship traversed the vast expanse of the galaxy, guided by the coordinates provided by Grand Chancellor Vexa. Each passing moment brought them closer to their destination, a sector teeming with mysteries and challenges waiting to be unraveled. As they neared the designated coordinates, the sensors aboard their ship detected anomalous energy fluctuations that pulsed like a distant heartbeat across the cosmic expanse. Eva and the Overseer exchanged a knowing glance, their anticipation palpable as they prepared to investigate the enigmatic phenomenon that beckoned them. Upon arrival at the designated coordinates, they found themselves confronted by a swirling vortex of shimmering energy, a celestial spectacle that defied explanation. The colors shifted and rippled like a cosmic dance, casting kaleidoscopic patterns across the void of space and drawing them closer with an irresistible allure. We have arrived at the heart of the anomaly, the overseer intoned, his metallic form reflecting the ethereal light of the vortex. This place resonates with power and mystery, a convergence of forces that defy our understanding. We stand on the threshold of something truly extraordinary. Eva nodded in agreement, her curiosity piqued by the cosmic convergence that unfolded before them. As they ventured deeper into the heart of the anomaly, they felt the energies surging around them, a symphony of light and sound that transcended the boundaries of the known universe. In the midst of the swirling energies, a vision materialized, a holographic projection of a celestial being, its form radiant and majestic. Its voice echoed through the void, resonating with a wisdom that transcended time and space. Welcome, travelers of the stars, the celestial being intoned, its voice a harmonious blend of countless tones. I am the guardian of the cosmic convergence, an entity born of the interplay of cosmic forces that shape the fabric of the universe. You have been chosen to witness the convergence and unravel the mysteries it holds. Eva and the Overseer listened with rapt attention as the Guardian unveiled the secrets of the cosmic convergence, a phenomenon that marked the alignment of celestial energies across the galaxy, a rare event that occurred once in a millennia. The convergence held the key to unlocking ancient knowledge and revealing the interconnectedness of all beings in the cosmos. As the celestial being imparted its wisdom, Eva and the Overseer felt a profound sense of awe and wonder wash over them. The cosmic convergence offered a glimpse into the interconnected tapestry of the universe, a revelation that transcended their understanding and sparked a newfound sense of unity and purpose. With the guidance of the Guardian, Eva and the Overseer embarked on a journey of discovery through the cosmic convergence, 
unraveling its mysteries and forging new bonds of friendship and understanding among the diverse civilizations of the galaxy. They witnessed the beauty of the cosmos in all its splendor, guided by the Guardian's wisdom and illuminated by the light of unity that bound them together. And as they ventured deeper into the cosmic convergence, Eva knew that their journey among the stars was far from over, that the mysteries of the universe were vast and infinite, waiting to be explored and understood by those brave enough to seek the knowledge they held. With the harmonious echoes of the cosmic convergence guiding their way, Eva and the Overseer embraced the wonders of the cosmos, united in purpose and resolve as they ventured towards the unknown horizons that stretched across the expanse of the expanse of the universe. Their journey continued, fueled by the guiding light of unity and the boundless potential of discovery that awaited them in the cosmic tapestry of the galaxy. As the Galactic Alliance delved deeper into the uncharted regions of the galaxy through the newly discovered wormhole, they found themselves embarking on a journey that would forever alter the course of their civilization. Dr. Sarah Jensen and her allies marveled at the cosmic wonders that unfolded before them, each new star system and alien world revealing a tapestry of diversity and beauty that captured their imaginations. Exploration became their mission, discovery their passion, as the Alliance charted new territories and established outposts in distant corners of the cosmos. The unity and resilience that had defined their journey among the stars thus far now propelled them towards even greater heights, binding them together in a shared commitment to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. But as they ventured deeper into the unknown, they encountered challenges that tested their resolve once more. An ancient alien civilization known as the Eldari greeted them with wariness and suspicion, their enigmatic motives shrouded in secrecy. Dr. Jensen understood that diplomacy and patience were key in building trust with their newfound neighbors, and she embarked on a mission of peace and understanding to bridge the divide that separated their worlds. Through dialogue and cultural exchange, the Galactic Alliance and the Eldari found common ground, their shared values of exploration and knowledge forging a bond that transcended the barriers of language and custom. Together, they delved into the annals of history, uncovering the secrets of the cosmos and exchanging wisdom that enriched both civilizations. As the Alliance and the Eldari worked side by side, a new era of cooperation blossomed, transforming the galaxy into a beacon of interstellar harmony and unity. Trade flourished, scientific advancements soared, and cultural exchanges flourished, weaving a tapestry of collaboration that celebrated the diversity of sentient life in the cosmos. But amidst the harmonious symphony that echoed across the stars, a shadow lurked on the horizon, a malevolent force that sought to sow discord and chaos in its wake. The dark echoes of a forgotten civilization known as the Voidborn whispered of ancient grievances and a thirst for vengeance that threatened to unravel the delicate balance of peace that had been forged between the Galactic Alliance and the Eldari. Dr. Sarah Jensen knew that the resilience and unity of their combined forces would be put to the ultimate test once more. As the looming threat of the Voidborn cast a shadow over the galaxy, she stood at the forefront of the Alliance, her spirit unyielding, her resolve unshaken by the encroaching darkness. And so, the stage was set for a cosmic conflict that would determine the fate of the galaxy itself, a battle that would test the bonds of unity and resilience that bound the Galactic Alliance and the Eldari together. A battle that would shape the destiny of all sentient life in the vast expanse of the universe. And as the stars twinkled in the endless expanse of space, Dr. Sarah Jensen knew that the journey among the stars was far from over, with the cosmic tapestry of the galaxy awaiting new chapters to be written in the light of hope and the spirit of hope. Cooperation that defined their shared legacy among the cosmos.